Millions of fans come to stadiums across the country to watch football every Sunday. Brandon Fay, managing director of Trattoria del Arte across from Carnegie Hall, is back with some tasty treats to game up your game day menu. Welcome back. What up, everybody? I know this, game day. this looks so good. Yes. This looks amazing. What right. are we starting with? Well, we've got lots of football going on. Okay. So I made football treats. It's game day eats. Lots of fun. Okay, you go to parties. Mm -hmm. They've got like flaming on. Oh, they got sliders. They've got nachos, guacamole, and all that's delicious, by the way. Yes. I but. I stepped it up just a little bit. We did filet mignon bombs. Okay, yes. so that's really cool. what these are. Yeah, so this, it might even seem a little bit like, oh my God, intimidated, but you know, mm -hmm. I always love doing things that are simple and right. easy. Go to the grocery store, and you're going to see the frozen uh, frozen aisle. Mm -hmm. Grab your puff pastries. Oh, okay, right? so, so that's what this is. So that's what this is right here. It okay. comes frozen, only takes a couple minutes to defrost. Cool tip of working with this is you always want to make sure they're cold. So I literally just took this out of the refrigerator a few moments ago. Okay. It's easier to work with, and then it also helps later on when you're cooking them. Let's add a little bit of flour. Okay. Because that one is going to help you with uh, making sure there's no moisture. Mm -hmm. it's easier to work with, and so mm -hmm. it also doesn't stick together. We have filet mignon right there. Or I went to the butcher. I bought a nice piece of filet, and I just chopped it up one ounce, two ounce, however big or how much you want to put in it. Then we got a mixture. I like bacon, as I think you may know yes. that already. <laughs> So you got some, some cooking over there too. <laughs> I got some cooking. Who wants bacon? I did some exactly. So I got some bacon. Some uh, there's some jalapeno chopped up peppers in there. Mm -hmm. You got some onions, some garlic, and some cream cheese. So that's your mixture. So you put that on top of filet, mm -hmm. and then you just start. And I did also did a little bit of an egg wash, right? Ah. So just that goes around. That's just going to really just help you to bind it later on. So essentially, you would take that and you would start folding it in. Oh, okay. Is that enough of the mixture in there? Listen, it's there's. <laughs> what I always say, no rules. Have fun as much as you want. Gotcha. You know, and you can completely seal it, but you know, to be honest, if it's coming out, that's even cut. Oh, God, how did you just do that so good? Yeah. And that's that's literally exactly what you did. <laughs> okay. And then you would put that side down, okay. right? So it looks beautiful. And then why don't we take a look at one of the, the finished, finished product. products? Oh. And so then where do you do with it? Where do you So th this comes so you put this in the oven, right? And by the way, before I put it in the oven, I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator for about mm -hmm. 15, 20 minutes. Because again, it's really it's essential to make sure it's cold. So you put it back in the oven. I'm looking for that smile. I'm hoping it's good. It's delicious. <laughs> then it, so then you put it in the oven, uh, medium to high. So about okay. 350, 400. Keep an eye on it. And it's almost like cooking pigs in a blanket. And you're going to have, like, if you have a circulating mm. fan in the oven, you oh. want to rotate it a little bit. Mm -hmm. For about 15, 20 minutes, once you get this golden brown color, you take them out and that's it. And by the way, the filet, actually, I did sear the filet mm -hmm. really quick before I put it in here for like a second, just to get it just to get it going. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, thank you. We, thank you. We need to get to the chicken, the, your take on chicken parm. My take on chicken parm. We did inside out chicken parm. By the way, we did posing teams today. So I'm not sure if you're a Giants or Jets fan, but I think, I think, I think last I heard the Giants are playing Dallas. Yes, tonight. So we'll do Dallas is grilled and the Giants are the breaded ones. Okay. So now listen, you, I, I took the time, I did actually bread these at home, but you know what? You can actually go to the store. You don't have to get so fancy because you want to fun on game mm -hmm. day, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be sitting around making a whole bunch of things. So this is, you could buy a store-bought chicken tender, you could buy grilled chicken tenders, breaded. I basically took these, put them in the oven, bake them a little bit, skewer them. That's half the fun. I get these skewers, right? Mm -hmm. And what I want to do is it's all about the bread and the pomodoro sauce today. Okay. So you see you have these loaves of bread. So what I did was I did it inside out. So this is no cheese, no sauce in it. All the cheese and sauce is inside your bread over here. What I bought was like a sourdough or like a French loaf. Cut the top off, hollow it out. I want to take a look at my pomodoro real quick. Yes. What do you have in here? I did pomodoro sauce. You can do a can, whole tomato, crush it, some herbs, some garlic, some onions. And then the trick is buy some bad cheese. This is where it gets really cold. This is where it comes becomes like a Parmesan. All I'm doing is putting this bag of cheese, right, into here, and then it starts getting this stringy consistency. And that's your Parmesan. And then all I did was, you want to get a quick shot of this right there. You put that right inside your bread, just like that. And right. that looks fancy, fancy, uh, Brandon. Who wants to go for a dip? Yeah, I'll go for a dip. Okay, we're going to do the, this is the oh, Brian's giants? giants. Giants. Okay, so I don't follow football, so I'm going to grill. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, and then you just dip it. Giants play the Giants play, mm. I'm not sure. No. Okay. This is so good, too. Hey. hey! Look, in the What's hot up? sauce. In the... <laughs> it's awesome. I don't know. I don't know if you wanted me to do that, but... Yeah, no, we got totally. What do you want? Enjoy. But Vanessa, you were saying that today's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. So good day for grilling. <laughs> yeah.